Lower the needle and raise the presser foot. Stretch the thread chain and lay it between the presser foot and the fabric from the left. Lower the presser foot and sew over the thread chain. Sew to the end of the seam and stop the needle. Raise the needle and press a foot. Turn the fabric over and lower the needles into the fabric. Lower the press a foot. Sew carefully over the previous stitching for about 2 to 3 centimeters without cutting them with the upper knife. Then remove the fabric and cut the thread. If you do not sew over the thread chain, be sure to leave enough thread chain at the beginning and end of a seam. So that it can be knotted. Or pulled through the stitches with a darning needle. When the seams cross over one another, the thread chain is automatically closed. To unpick the seams of the four or three thread overlock, cut the thread here with scissors and pull the needle thread. The stitches will come undone. Be sure to turn the power switch off before changing the needles. Applying the needle attaching hole of the cleaning brush will help replace the needle easily. Turn the hand wheel until the needles are fully raised. Before changing the needles, lower or remove the presser foot. Using the small screwdriver, loosen the needle set screws and remove the needles. First, insert the needle with the flat side away from you into the needle clamp, making sure it is inserted as far up as possible. Tighten the needle clamp set screws securely. When the thread should be changed, thread all threads or cut the thread, then tie the previous thread to the new one. In the case of thread breakage, stop sewing immediately. Remove the workpiece. If the lower looper thread is broken, cut both needle threads off at the needle. Then remove the threads. Thread the lower looper and then the needles. If the upper looper thread is broken, remove the upper looper to the lowest position. Then thread the upper looper thread. Bring the thread through under the presser foot and pull about 10 centimeters of the thread out behind the presser foot.
The three thread overlocking width can be adjusted by changing the needle position. Remove the left hand or right hand needle. Use the right needle for narrow overlock. And the left needle for wide overlock. This attachment enables the machine to perform over-edging a one-ply fabric. Be sure to turn the power switch off before attaching the 2-3 thread converter. Remove the upper looper thread and insert the 2-3 thread converter into the top section of the upper looper shaft and fit the wire into the hole in the upper looper. To thread the machine head, pass the lower looper thread above the wire of the 2-3 thread converter and route it down under the presser foot. Adjust the thread tension. The roll hammer is built into the sewing machine. The fabric edge is automatically rolled and over sewn. Remove the left hand needle and thread the machine as for three thread overlocking. Set the lower knife adjusting knob at 1 2. Pull the overlocking width selection knob toward you to align with the red marking in front of the throat plate. Set the stitch length adjusting knob at 1 to 1.5. Use the woolly nylon thread or thinner thread for roll hemming to attain a beautiful finish. Use the thin spun thread thinner than number 80. Woolly nylon thread can be used only for the upper looper. Adjust the thread tension. Be sure to turn the power switch off before maintenance. During sewing, dust and fluff collect in and on the machine. This should be removed regularly. Your overlock machine requires very little lubrication. Now and then, lubricate only these points. There are many optional feet for this machine. The blind stitch presser foot is for making blind hems. The universal blind stitch presser foot is for making blind hems and flat block. The elasticator presser foot is for attaching elastic tape to stretch fabrics. The cording presser foot is for attaching nylon string or wire onto the edge of fabrics. The beading presser foot is for attaching pearls and beading with overlock stitching. The curved beading presser foot is for attaching pearls and beading on a curve. The piping presser foot is for sewing piping. 
The gathering press a foot is for gathering and sowing with differential feed. Be sure to turn the power switch off before changing the presser foot. Raise the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel until the needles are fully raised. Press this point and the presser foot will be released. To release the presser foot, raise the presser foot lifting lever to its highest position. Then you can release the presser foot easily. To attach the presser foot, place it so that the presser foot pin comes exactly under the groove in the holder. Lower the presser foot lifting lever and the presser foot will engage. We hope that this DVD has given you a better understanding of your new Overlock sewing machine. If you have any further questions, please refer to your instruction manual. We hope you will enjoy your sewing.